So a few years ago, the appliance company Mealy decided to create a bunch of 3D printable accessories for a number of their different pieces of equipment, including vacuum attachments and coffee accessories. But they weren't actually able to make this successful and ended up dropping the project, even though it has a lot of potential to make basically infinite money. So a lot of companies have tried this. Ford is doing it now with the Maverick. Framework is doing it with their laptops. And Mealy is one of the first ones to actually do it themselves. They actually shared the files on Thingiverse when they created these accessories. And the expectation was that people would print these accessories at home and be able to improve their products, which is a reasonable goal, but it failed because not everybody has a printer at home or is interested in producing their own parts. And this is an issue with this concept in general. Sharing the parts is a good and generous type of idea but it's not very useful to people if they don't have the equipment to make it. So printing gives them the flexibility that they need, but giving away the files doesn't actually give them the market penetration that they need. But this is all fixed now, and companies can leverage it in a whole different sort of way. So like at Slant3D, we have an API where anybody can plug into our giant print farms, which means that you can produce one or 10,000 parts completely on demand and not have to worry about anything else. You can just design for that API and get the parts turned out. This means that if Mealy wanted to do this again, or if Ford wants to create a series of accessories for the Maverick, all they have to do is design the accessories, plug it into the API, and then if somebody wants to order that accessory, it is printed and shipped and Ford receives the net profit from whatever the pricing was based on the actual cost of producing the part. This is really interesting because they no longer have inventory, they're able to increase selection and they're able to continue to have this cash flow generation for decades throughout the life of the part. And if there's something like a recall, they can have replacement parts immediately on demand for customers and for shops. Designing for 3D printing would let them create a broader offering to their customers so that there is a little bit more selection and more capability in their products without them having to spin up a production line for each one of those products. This means that they effectively are turning into a software company, very much like Apple, where they design the phone and then somebody else makes it all for them. They're able to outsource that production and instead just create models that improve their product and improve the customer experience, but then all of the logistics of production is taken care of by someone else. This means that they can put in just the engineering effort, but then have pure cash flow coming back without ongoing investment. This has never been possible before for manufacturers or product creators of any sort, because if you wanted to make a thing, you had to tool up to make the thing. You had to get the mold, you had to build the supply chain, you had to have the relationship with the manufacturer. It was a lot of effort to create that improvement. But now that you have software enabled manufacturing and scalable manufacturing that can produce those parts and deliver them quickly after the order is made, you can now have items produced on demand and leverage 3D printing. You can still give away the files to anyone who wants to print it themselves, but then for the normal average consumer, which let's face it is 99% of people, they can simply order the part itself. Someone like Slant3D can print it off and ship it to that customer, and the appliance manufacturer is able to just create better appliances. This is a nifty little infinite money glitch that all these manufacturers haven't really leveraged very heavily yet, but you can see it coming down the pipe as folks like Mealy try to do more stuff with this. So let us know down in the comments if you think there's particular products where these types of accessories should really apply or brands that should be doing it, because there's a huge opportunity here to radically improve their product quality for their customers, not have any upfront investment, and increase bottom line revenue. It's kind of a win-win for everyone involved. Have a great day, everybody.